Hey guys, Zoid Bergenstein here, covering the best non-broadcasted matches of this WGLNA season. Today we're looking at a match between the Cunninghams and Hammer Time in Round 1 of WGLNA Season 4 Gold League. This match took place on Tuesday, December 9th, so if you want to go back and grab these replays or look at the results ahead of time, feel free to check that out on the WGLNA website. Coming into this round, Hammer Time is down 2-4. That means that they absolutely have to win both these rounds of defense, or the Cunninghams will have their five wins that they need to win and advance. If Hammer Time can hold out on defense and pick up two more wins, they will force overtime and have a chance either for an overtime win or an overtime loss. Looking at team compositions, we have a very interesting lineup coming out of Hammer Time. They have gone back to that Roomba which we saw on defense on Himmelsdorf. And keep in mind with that Roomba, if he lands a shot on a light tank, he will absolutely demolish it. If he misses, however, it's going to be very easy for those light tanks to continue circling around him, get shots out on him, and take zero damage in return. So, vital to the success of Hammer Time this round is going to be getting damage out of that Roomba. They also have a T32, a 1390, two RU251s, and two Tier 7 Bulldogs to help them. The Cunninghams, on the other hand, are running a T32, four RU251s, and two Bulldogs, very similar to what we've seen them running in the past this match. Some early spots and early shots coming out this match. It doesn't look like we have any connections so far, but with the standard lineup that the Cunninghams are running and a tank being spotted over there, Hammer Time should know exactly what they're up to. And Hammer Time actually only has a couple differences in a standard lineup, the main one being that Roomba. So both teams should have a fairly solid idea of what the other team is doing outside of that Roomba, which I believe is still hidden. If he can stay hidden and get that shot, like I mentioned earlier, that could change the tide of this battle. Lots of shots coming out from lots of different tanks. We see shots moving up onto the hill. So far, no connections. Shots are turning from the hill into the Cunninghams down there. And then there's a shot from the Roomba into the Bulldog. You can tell from the damage that it did, he's actually running the smaller gun. That's going to mean that he can shoot more often, but he'll do a little bit less damage per shot. Against all these light tanks, probably a smart idea to take that. He will be a little more useful if he doesn't land every single shot that he takes. Two shots land simultaneously on different RUs on top of the hill, and this is a huge HP. A third shot actually lands on an RU on top of hill. Like I was saying, this is a huge HP advantage for Hammer Time. In a game mode where you can't play for draw, the Cunninghams are going to have to attack at some point. With this kind of HP disadvantage, I just don't see how they're going to be able to successfully attack unless they manage to do something miraculous. So many tanks are still left up on top of hill, they're going to have to move for a cap, and it does look like they're actually going to be giving up that hill, trying to switch into something new so let's see what they end up trying to do. It looks as though their push is going to be moved down south, and I don't know if they've been spotted or if this is fantastic game sense and calling from Hammer Time, but Hammer Time making the perfect shift to intercept this. This is going to be absolutely devastating if the Cunninghams push over rail. Liebstad set up down south to get those initial spots. The other four tanks ready to shoot may not even be spotted as they pepper these tanks with damage. The Cunninghams are crossing, and this is going to be awful. Liebstad in the perfect position to get these spots. We should have shots coming out any second. And there's the first one into Tyreem in that Bulldog. Shots go out in A. Martin. He is tracked on rail. Not going to be able to get back. He goes down. Shots continue to go out. No damage coming back from the Cunninghams. And there we have an ammo rack on a Bulldog before he gets any damage out. Liebstad just now starting to take damage as the RUs try and push in. One RU separates himself from the battle, but it is not going to matter. Shots continue to go out. Another RU goes down, and Hammer Time is absolutely demolishing in this firefight. Three tanks down for the Cunninghams. No tanks down for Hammer time. This is huge. Shots continuing to go out into tanks that we can't see. We're not sure if they're actually doing damage, but it looks like Hammer Time's 1390 is in reload. And this is actually very smart from Hammer Time. They know that they don't need to push. They're on defense. They can wait. The more time that gets taken down, the better for them. They're just going to wait until that 1390 is reloaded, cross over, and then kill. The room is also being very smart. He's not pushing across. He's not being overly aggressive because he doesn't want to separate himself. He wants to make sure that no tanks can escape to the north. And this is just great, solid, professional level play from Hammer Time, absolutely destroying the Cunninghams here. We move over to action T32 versus T32. The T32 gets one shot, and, and it looks like the Roomba actually gets a long-distance snipe kill on the T32. Fantastic shot from Drynitz over there, and everything is falling apart for the Cunninghams this round. And that's so important for Hammer Time. They're in a must-win situation for the rest of this match. If the Cunninghams can pick up a single win, Hammer Time is out. When you can win like this, you're not only winning that must-win round, you're making a statement. You're saying, you've lost four tanks, we've lost zero, we are a better defensive team on this map than you are. One shot does come out from Militant and his RU into Overlord Prime's RU over there. Several shots come out in return against Militant. He does take one, he's going to have to run because he's not going to be able to survive in that village with a T-32 shooting from one angle, RUs and Bulldogs shooting from another. And anyways, like I was saying, 
if Hammer Time can come out and win these next two matches, that's a lot of momentum coming into the tiebreaker round. It gives them a real shot. Not to count the Cunninghams out, because they still certainly could do it, but it's going to be difficult. Anytime you lose this badly, you have to sit down and say, all right, we lost this round. You have to completely flush it from your memory, start over, and play like the team that you know you can be. Because we have seen the Cunninghams being very dominant here. A couple shots move out into German, that RU251 down south, and we're just waiting for Hammer Time to push over and end this round. Even though they haven't pushed down south, we are seeing a pinch as the T32 and Roomba have crossed into Village. They're going to continue to squeeze these guys, and it does look like Liebstad leading the push again as he crosses over into German, this RU251. One shot goes into him, the Bulldog comes down, ram damage coming out from both tanks. One shot will kill German, that RU251, he goes down, but... The Cunninghams do get a tank, the Bulldog dies, Overlord Prime is now moving on, another RU who just goes down, and that is going to do it. This round is over, that is a win on defense for Hammer Time. I said last round went to the Cunninghams because of solid defensive play and strategy, and in my opinion, this round, Hammer Time, far exceeded that play. They were able to make an amazing shift, shutting down the Cunninghams from trying to get any advantage back, and beat them so badly, I feel like they've really shifted the momentum of this match. The current score is 4-3, still in favor of the Cunninghams, but in the next round on defense, if Hammer Time can win, they will force Tiebreaker, and they'll have a significant amount of advantage moving into that Tiebreaker. Like always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, and if you have any requests for new rounds or new matches, go ahead and tweet me on there. I'll try and get those up as fast as possible. If you are enjoying the Shoutcast, make sure that you subscribe and like on YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I try and answer every single comment that I see down there. And please support our sponsors as well. They do so much for World of Tanks and our organization. That's www.elevate.gg to check all of those guys out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next round as we see if the Cunninghams can hold on to their 4-3 lead against Hammer Time.